Raise your hand if you've ever eaten broccoli bread. I didn't think so. This flourless, keto, protein broccoli bread tastes incredible, has only one gram of carb, and is a great way to get vegetables in your diet. I'm super excited to show this recipe with you, so let's just get into it. So this recipe will change the way you look at broccoli and bread. The first thing you wanna do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Next, line an eight by four loaf pan with parchment paper and set that aside. Now you wanna prepare your broccoli. You can use steamed broccoli or you can do it like I did. I just took some frozen broccoli and threw it in the microwave for five to six minutes. For this recipe, you want about two cups of cooked broccoli. Since I prepared my frozen broccoli in the microwave, it held a lot of moisture, and I recommend squeezing it in a cheesecloth to remove all the moisture. I don't own a cheesecloth, so I just squeezed out what I could with the plate that I cooked it in and tried to press out the rest of the water through a colander. Now that your broccoli is prepared, go ahead and set that aside and start making your broccoli bread batter. To do that, you want to add all your ingredients to a food processor or a bowl if using an immersion blender. And you want to add half cup of vanilla whey protein, half cup of vanilla casein protein. You can also substitute pea protein or brown rice protein, as all those have the same absorbency and consistency as casein. Next, you want to add four large egg whites or a half cup of liquid egg whites. Then you want to add two large eggs two tablespoons of granular sugar substitute, I use Swerve, and a half teaspoon of ground cinnamon, your two cups of cooked broccoli. Once all your ingredients are added, go ahead and mix that in your food processor for about a minute until everything's combined and smooth. Add the broccoli bread batter to your prepared loaf pan. You can bake the bread at this point or you can add a topping. But I made an omega-3 seed mixture, which consisted of two teaspoons of sunflower seeds, two teaspoons of flax seeds, two teaspoons of chia seeds, and two teaspoons of sesame seeds. Go ahead and mix the seed mixture with your fingertips and top your bread batter with the entire seed mixture and cover it with aluminum foil in a dome shape to prevent it from cracking while it's baking. And bake in your preheated oven for 30 minutes. You then wanna remove the pan from your oven, remove the foil, and cook it for another five to seven minutes. That way the top can be browned. Once the top of your bread is browned and cooked, go ahead and set it on a cooling rack and let it cool in the pan for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, remove from the pan and let it finish cooling on your cooling rack. Now slice and enjoy this incredible, flourless, keto, protein broccoli bread. And the taste test, surprisingly really amazing. In a way, it's similar to pumpkin bread, but it tastes way cleaner and not overly sweet. And the omega seed mixture on top adds a nice crunch and texture. And the macros are unbelievable. For each slice, 12.7 grams of protein, 1.1 grams of carbs, and 0.7 grams of sugar. And you would never believe that there's two cups of broccoli in this bread. It's one of the cleanest, most nutrient-dense bread recipes you'll ever make. And by far, my favorite way to top this bread was cream cheese and sugar-free jelly. Those two toppings really complemented the bread, and it all came together wonderfully and tasted amazing. I couldn't recommend this flourless broccoli bread anymore. Please try it, let me know what you think. Please share this flourless, keto, protein broccoli bread video because honestly, it's too good not to. And thank you for watching. I really try to share recipes that I believe in and I think that you would enjoy and I would love if you would try them and experiment with them. And of course, until next time, keep it classy, keep it keto. Keto Craft Kitchen, out. If you're looking for a keto breakfast idea, check out this French toast video with two different variations. And if you're curious about what I eat in a day, check out this full day of eating video. It's packed full of information and meal ideas. And for future content, please subscribe.